Oh, so again, uh, we're in the beta branch. And we have Melting Remnant, Awoken. We have Protect the Pyre. So the Pyre gets armor, the Pyre gets extra health, that's completely worthless, and it gets extra damage. We have Final Shard, which makes it so that the Pyre starts with two damage shield, but if it gets hit through the damage shield and the armor, then you just lose. We have Gravity, meaning that uh, your units will slowly descend as you go down. Um, and then we're on Covenant 10, meaning that you get the Dazed, you get uh, one um, dead weight, you get additional cards, and the bosses are a little bit more difficult. So, with that, let's jump into it. So if you're if you're wanting to do the challenge, uh, just a reminder, all of this is in the beta branch. So you have to switch over to the beta branch. If you're not on the beta branch of the game, um, there is a guide on Discord for how to do that. Interesting, because the drafts just die. Um... Ooh, with the extra burnout, they don't die right away. That's interesting. We don't have any sting spells, so that seems worthless. So definitely going to get the extra burnout. That makes the draft significantly better. They also descend, and stacking them at the back seems pretty good. So then the question is, do we use the new harvest with buffs, or do we do the reform? I'm kind of tempted to take the Harvest, because all of the units are going to be on that floor. And he'll get really big very quickly. I think we try it. We'll do Accumulator. And... Uh, one other thing that's going to be difficult is killing off the Collectors. But... I think it'll be... Ooh. Do we take the extra armor? It's going to be really hard to kill them early on. I don't know if we can take this challenge. Or I don't think we can take this. Let's see. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. How much damage do they do? Do we rely on our pyre wall? We can try it. We might. We might lose on the first fight if we can't get enough damage out. Let's see here. Uh, the remnant host will die, which means that. Oh, they all die from the Remnant Host. Okay, that worked really well. Um, and then what I think we want is we put out Train Steward, and I want the Dreg in the top floor so that it will get onto the bottom, the middle floor on the next turn. So we don't get the Collector. No real way to get it there. Um, they're all going to die. That's a little bit of a problem. I think then, knowing that we have Gravity... We want uh, everything on the top floor so that they drop down. And that should be... Let's see, the train steward will get killed. This will do 20, 20, 99. That's pretty close. That's pretty close to killing them off. But is it enough? Um, if we enhance the train steward... 11... Uh, nope, they're doing 12. If we enhance the draft... That should put some damage onto the second unit. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a real good way. So hopefully we just kill the boss. They are, they are all going to drop down. So that's one nice thing, is that they're going to drop down to the bottom floor, making it much more likely we can kill the boss before these guys get to the pyre. And we do. We manage it. Okay. So, first fight, we took the challenge. I thought it was a big risk. Ended up working out for us pretty well. And, uh, yeah. We can uh, continue on. Interesting. Um, Dripfall could be really useful for enemy units to keep them away from the pyre. Our units naturally gra uh, have gravity, so then this is really just to play on enemy units, but dazing them dazing them also means the pyre is a lot better. So if we can get double stack on the drift fall, drip fall, that'd be really good. Hallow drippings is also really good. It keeps, uh, if we have our 
champions start tanking instead of being on this, you know, second level. It allows him... Oh, Bane also got it with a perfect uh, bottom floor kill. Um, oh, this is tough. Dripfall or Hollow Drippings? I can see either one working. I can see either one working for us. Hmm, let me think, let me think. I think, oh, this is hard. Because this, this gives us so much extra time with our um, burnout units. I'm going to take the drip fall. I think it's too strong later on. Um, here, I don't know if we... Uh, Spike's being able to kill backliners. That might become relevant later on. We do have Seraph the Chase, who will eliminate the spikes over time. Uh, I think it's better than Vine Grasp. Or do we just get more draw? I think the uh, biggest problem is with the spikes is that... Uh, well, it's not a big problem. It does get... It just gets backliners. I think that's probably good enough. We can put it on our champion. Or we put it on a Thorned Hollow, who can act as the tank. That seems really good. So we'll have a lot of front-loaded damage because of all the drafts. And they'll last for a while, not as long as maybe they could. And then here, uh, I think getting Dripfall to be cheaper and Sharpen to be cheaper, even over getting another unit right now might be the ticket here. Uh, and then I think making Sharpen less expensive. We can re-roll. What we really want is a double stack. <laughs> got it. And I think it's got to be on the Dazed, on the Drip Fall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we'll make that free later on. So Bane went right for the unit and the unit upgrades. We'll see how well that, ooh. Oh, ooh. I don't think we can do this. There are some outs. So the outs are you get, uh, you start with, no, nah, it's too risky. We can't do it. I think that's almost a guaranteed death. Um, unless you happen to get Oh, nice. Well, thanks to Yogg's cast. Um, I think we go Thorned Hollow. We go to Rector Flicker. We do... Sharpen. And then we put the drag up here so that it drops down. Same with the draft. We have them both drop down so that we can kill this unit here. This whole gravity scenario is really interesting. I really like it. It really changes like how you have to think about playing here. This is perfect. We get uh, more drafts to put on the bottom floor. Uh, we need to stage again because we have two more units here. Uh, we're not going to be able to kill the collector again. I think we do train steward, drag. And I want Steel Enhancer on this draft. And then we restore to add spikes and to heal up a little bit. Um, how do we want to play this one? This guy might make it to the Pyre. The problem is he'll do two hits by himself, taking out both damage shields. Uh, if we put another drag... He takes 9 damage. Um, we can't... I can't think of a way... Oh, we could probably descend him. We'll get descend on the next draw. It's pretty likely. Although we might we might just end up using that on the boss. We'll have to see. Uh, you both have the same amount of burnout? No, you have slightly more. We'll put this on you. And we'll heal you up. And I, I'm just going to assume we're going to kill the boss here. Yeah, we're good. We can even drip fall him to make it even less damage on our units here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seems good. Cool. 
Um, I don't think we need a second drip fall. I don't really like Votaberry here or Molten Encasement. The problem with Molten Encasement is that we can't guarantee that it's in the front. It's oftentimes going to be in the back. And if it's in the back, it doesn't die. And I have no way to trigger it dying. So I think with that, unless I could, unless I could give it burnout, I, I don't think it's worth it. So we'll skip here. Wild with Sap's great. We put this onto our tank. And the nice thing is, as long as we don't get too many other units, I actually think our units are pretty good as is. We just buff them up a lot. So with that, I'm kind, I'm kind of tempted to go this way. Get the unit upgrade I, and see what we get out of the draft. Ooh, Legion of Wax. But the, here's the thing. Legion of Wax, Loyal Lady of the Reformed also could be really good to keep burnout on our units. Um, Legion of Wax isn't as great because um, it takes up so much space and we're going to hit those limits. It does mean that we can keep things on to the um, second and third or the bottom floor and the middle floor. But if it dies and it doesn't have room, it won't actually extinguish properly. The units will just... Well, actually, that's curious. And what happens to them? Do they pop up a floor? Very curious now, actually. What happens when... Legion of Wax breaks and you're already at the seven unit limit. Do we do it for science? What do you guys think? Do we, Lady of the Reformed is much more, it's just a guaranteed good because uh, it'll keep all of our drafts alive if we put it as the secondary tank. So we have it in front to increase burnout on all of our units. Then we have the real spike tank behind. And then, uh, then we have all the rest. This is just guaranteed to be good. This is like interesting. And for science. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to play him though. Um Yeah, okay, we'll try it. We'll try it. Multi-strike would be really good, but getting spikes onto the Legion of Wax is also really good. That means all of the sub ones also have spikes. And then what we're going to wait for is hopefully a large stone. And we'll keep it at that for now. We won't remove yet. I want to save up coins. Ooh. Um, this increases our pyre damage, but I think our pyre is already doing enough damage. I think petty theft. We don't have a real good way of uh, targeting damage. And we get some spell upgrades there. We'll probably manage to get a lot of coins out of it. Bane's still on that second fight. We'll see if he gets through it. All right. Ooh, double explosions. A little bit, a little bit touchy. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do Thorn Hollow up front. No. Okay, this is a little bit weird. <laughs> How do I get these guys? Uh, do I just sack the Legion of Wax now and put these all behind him? Use him just to clear out these early minions? I mean, right now he's not very strong. So I think that's actually okay. We'll put him up here. We'll put these guys behind. Oh, I would love for you to get all those uh, triggers. But we'll, we'll, I think we'll play it. And yeah, we're not going to just sack a Dreg to die. So now um, they're all going to die from all these spikes. We can put a draft. We can uh, start healing up and getting spikes onto our Thorn Hollow. Oh, might have been smart to play Dripfall there. I think we'll get a draft. We should we should be able to get a draft to kill that middle unit. This is great. So now we can get some coins. Uh, even the Remnant Host is fantastic here, and we can even get some more damage onto Daedalus. So that's the last of our Legion of Wax. It ended up saving us a lot of damage on our tank, so that worked out okay. This is going to be... A, he's going to hes gonna make it. There's no way to stop him. Is that right? We do 35 damage. He has 34 health. I think we're just going to have to accept that. Um, let's add more spikes. Let's get some train stewards up here. Although it might have been better to just uh, up increase the damage there. We're getting a lot of damage on the Daedalus. Um, yeah, we want healing on you. 
heal, give you more spikes, and then we can play out another drag. And these guys actually can't drop down, we're already at the 7 unit limit. So we lost 1 damage shield, but we are doing more than enough damage. Oh, Bane managed to get through that fight with uh, the challenge. That's impressive. I I uh, I copped out. I I wimped out. <laughs> I wasn't sure that we could do it, but uh, he managed it. Good for him. All right, we got through. Um, got through Daedalus there. Wax and spikes, pretty good. Other than it uh, affects my um, non-burnout units, which is not great. Sacrificial resurrection. I think Momentum Mori is going to make the most sense. Do we have a lot of units that die though now? Oh yeah, the Legion of Wax. Yeah, we do. We get a lot of death with the Legion of Wax, so it's pretty good. Uh, I don't think we take any of these. I think we're pretty good on units. Paraffin Thug, though. I mean, it's greedy, but... Paraffin Thug. I think we'll try it. Definitely don't need capacity. Um, I think it's Draw or Ember. Uh, I'm feeling Draw. Yeah, capacity should never be an issue because everything is going to just keep falling down. So uh, we are already over capacity to, like within one or two turns. Um, I think I would prefer the artifact. I don't know. The only thing I could think of to duplicate right now would be the drip fall. And I'd rather just get hold over on it. Um, removal would be nice, but I think we take the coins. We're going to be upgrading units here. So let's get the free artifact, get the coins, see what the draft unit is. Um, remove buff effects. It's not. I think it's more valuable just to get some cheap kills. And don't really like any of either of these, so we're gonna skip. Now I think we still want more harvest triggers to try to really get him to be quite strong. You think about that. If like the Legion of Wax, most of the Legion of Wax kills happen. Uh, spell shield. We don't really do spell damage. It is going to make our one or our two spells less effective, but I think it's okay. For 150 coins, that would be the trade off is three uses of um, our petty theft, and then we're not going to get three uses out of it in one go. Um, how do I want to start this? I think we do it very similar to last time. We put the Legion of Wax down, that takes care of the back unit. And the best part is, is that the Legion of Wax actually is going to uh, survive here. And then I think we put the drag in the top floor, with the idea that hopefully it lands in the middle and allows us to kill the Collector. Oh, that works. That's one way to kill the Collector. Um, put Paraffin Thug out. Uh, we're gonna be, let's see, if I enhance you with spikes, they go away. We want to do it onto you instead, and also heal you up, so you have more spikes. You're a little bit of a problem. Um, Remnant Host helps a lot. It's not quite enough. Remnant Host plus two dregs is enough. We can heal you up again. Um, I think as well, I think we want more damage and health onto our Paraffin Thug. And we are killing the Haste unit, which is quite good. And we should get uh, at least one draft next turn. Oh, they're, they're all stuck now. That's actually pretty good. It means that they're all there ready to, uh, to kill off that middle floor. Um, hmm. I think we get another draft. You know what? Let's put a drag up front to block the hit. And then let's get a draft. And, or, uh, yeah. Draft plus train steward up top. Now some of these are going to drop down. Um, we can even drop him down. That seems pretty good. So let's strip fall you uh, so you die to all these units. Let's continue to stack onto our Thorned Hollow. We'll heal our Thorned Hollow. And we should be absolutely fine for the boss. Yeah, 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 we're good. 
Um, our Thorn Hollow is in fact not even dying. And look at that, plus 80. We're getting plus 80 health on Rector Flicker because of all of the Legion of Wax deaths. He's already at 125. That guy is uh, real thick. He's not going anywhere soon. And then let's uh, let's upgrade the damage on Paraffin Thug. Maybe that lets him get the kill. We get some more coins. We'll see. Ah, oh, no. Rector Flicker stole it. This is a really fun combo. Ooh, Remnant Pact. Uh, what would we put it on? Legion of Wax to get a second Legion of Wax? It's kind of funny, but it could work. Applying Stealth. Uh, we actually don't want Stealth because we want them to attack our units. Uh, Mortal Entrapment's pretty good, but we already have a Daze. I think we take the Remnant Pact. I think there will be uses for it. Um... Hmm. Invigorating solution, probably. If we get enough spike, spike applicators. I believe it is only the first score that shows up on the leaderboard, Bane. Yeah. Are you struggling with Daedalus? Ah... Okay. Ooh, 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 yeah, it's gotta be. Oh my gosh. On what though? I think it's, I think that's where we want it. It's a little bit greedy, but I think that's why we want it. And do we do more there, or maybe we start with some here? And then we definitely want this upgrade on one of the drafts. And let's see what we get on second. Let's... Huh. We definitely want you to have more health. Um, I think getting you more damage is good. Or maybe you more damage. I almost think this is quite good on him in case, specifically in cases where uh, they have sweep or spikes. Then we don't have to stress about him getting wrecked. Um, I think we'll save the coins. Ah, uh, no, I think we gotta get rid of some train stewards. They're pretty bad draws for us. So we can take this because of what we just added. Should be enough. Um, and as long as we... Hmm, we don't start exactly how we want here. I almost think we do this. Let us take them out on the second floor. Uh, this does not do anything. Um, this can still fit at the bottom. I think instead we just do this for now. That'll be enough to take out the middle floor. Because what I want is to be able to play the Legion on the bottom like this. And we lose some of them. Oh my gosh, this guy is going to kill us. <laughs> How do we kill him? <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. Alright, well, let's uh, let's do this. Put that behind. That's at least 49 damage. He might kill us outright. The only good thing is that his damage is quite low. But, uh... I think uh, I think we're in trouble. Uh huh. I don't know what we're gonna do here? How do we get through? So you help tremendously. Um, are you enough? We put you down. Now you're dying. This... 
Let's see. This... 56 means that you start taking some damage. This means that you take even more. Another 20 minus 10, because you're going to die from hitting. Puts you down to zero. But this guy might kill us outright. We can take four hits from him. Four times... 180. I guess he won't kill us, but uh, it's going to put us in a really tricky spot for the next turns. We can do this, or this. This gets it, so if we use if we use this here, he'll do one, no, it takes two damage because of the spikes. If we do this, we can significantly lower his damage, or we can significantly lower his health, but it's not probably enough. I think we have to do Memento Mori here, and which means we can't play the Paraffin Thug, unfortunately. Luckily, this guy's dying to the uh, Draft. But it puts us in a tricky spot for the boss. If we play this, we can play more cards out. Uh, this is really tough. What are our other outs? We hope to draw it again. It's going to be 40. He's going to get 30. We're going to do 40, 58 damage. If we use Enhance, it's 40. Um, that's pretty good, though. And it does mean we can put a heal spell down here. Let's try it. We put you down. We Enhance. And then we put you up here. I'm really worried about getting enough health onto our... Um, we can still Memento Mori and actually kill it. And then we can put the Remnant Host down here. I think our champion should be enough. I'm hoping at least. It's not quite. If we pick off the backliner... Because yeah, you kill him outright, that's the problem. Oh, but okay, so we we pick you off. We drip fall you to do more damage. Or we double heal. It still isn't gonna put you out of range. So I think we drip fall you to get you more damage. We can steal enhance. No. One healing here. We'll give it one more hit there. Is that enough of a damage threshold? The alternative, the alternative is that we put like this on you. And that gives us three times, however many times we're going to hit. But it's not honestly a lot. This gives us, he takes one more spike damage. Two, one. Okay, that got a little bit out of him. The problem is, a single hit from him on our pyre and we lose. I don't know what we have. Paraffin Thug is it. So we put you out. We give you some spikes. We give you two hits. That's 12. Memento Mori is our out. Memento Mori or Dripfall. Memento Mori, Dripfall. That's it. Paraffin Thug just dies. Unless we get, like, Paraffin Thug. Nope, Paraffin Thug just dies. Let's see if we got it. Memento Mori! <laughs> Boom. Holy crap. 
Uh, this is actually okay on the Parapin Thug, but otherwise it's not particularly useful. Um, <laughs> Minugu, uh, we just had the state of the game discussion with uh, several streamers. Um, it's uh, It'll be on the VOD, I'll post it onto YouTube, on my YouTube later, um, today for me. Um, I can do my summary statement though. My summary statement is, um, I think a game like Monster Train, where the the game is primarily player versus environment, so PVE, we're not really hurting for balance changes. So I I feel like doing balance changes right now is a little bit strange. Um, I understand the cards they nerfed. I get that there are crazy win rates with a lot of these cards and with a lot of the artifacts. Um, and there were some that were just not really playable in their current state. I think the ones that were not playable and needed to be buffed made sense because then you're getting more card variety. I think the ones that were nerfed probably... They needed to be nerfed from like a balance perspective, but in a game like this, I don't know that balance is as important. Like, it's... It, so... It's a little bit strange for me to have such, I would say, pretty um, strong balance patches this early into the game. And my my feeling is prioritize more content. Um, I think a lot of people are getting to the Covenant 25 mark, so adding the expert challenges was really smart. I think um, adding in the community challenges, I think there needs to be more there. I mean, you're right, but Shadow Siege, the cases where you play him haven't changed. If you get if you get sketches of salvation, you still get shadow siege for free, and you don't care about capacity. If you get um, volatile gauge, even with the nerf, you still play out shadow, shadow siege for maximum four ember. So I don't think that they actually removed the cases where shadow siege is the strongest. They just made him harder to play in general. And so I'm not I'm not convinced that that change was necessary. Um, or at least that the change has the intended goal that they had in mind. Um, but I don't know. It, yeah, it, it's hard to say. I think we'll have to see in the next weeks how important those changes were, how they affect gameplay. Um, the most thing, the biggest thing I'm excited about is I like the new mutators. I think it's really good to have a broader selection, and and they go in a different direction than the first mutators did. These these mutators fundamentally change some aspects of the game in a way that the other mutators don't. Um, not having a champion is a massive deck building challenge. How do you play without a champion? How do you play a deck where the champion doesn't fit that deck? So getting a different champion than the one that you normally start with. I think these are really cool and interesting ideas. Um, with community challenges, I think the community challenges need more than just mutators. This is the big part of the discussion that we had. Um, the, the current custom challenges just feel like different daily challenges. So it's it's not that there it's new content, it's the same content slightly repackaged. So it's a daily challenge that somebody else made, but it's not it's not a different type, you know what I mean? The the only thing that's different is the covenant level. You can add a covenant level, but apart from adding a covenant level, there's no difference between a daily challenge and a custom challenge. Mostly um, so what I would like to see is a little bit of extra customization. Um, what we had discussed was like, could they implement win conditions? Like, can you have a win condition be, um, or that you're scored slightly differently? Like, scoring is affected by coins more than in another challenge. Or, um, a win condition being, uh, yeah, at Seraph, or uh, maybe you have a mutator that like, um, when you reach Seraph, all of your units get purged or something something like broader than just the standard stuff would be helpful for me. And then search searchability, being able to search out challenges based on specific criteria. So I don't know. It's good. Like it definitely is good. It's it's an improvement. Um, I'm hopeful that future DLCs have more content than than what we got in this one. But I do like the content that's there. I don't know how to balance that out. So I think it's good overall. I would have liked to have seen a little bit less balance changes, a little bit more content. Um, okay. Uh, getting into... 
Memories of the Melted is really good with our deck. And there are certain turns, like any turn that we have, um, Memento Mori becomes really valuable. I, I completely agree with you. I think um, there is a lot of potential. And what I'm hopeful is that in the future, they transition to a balance via new content. So we introduce a new clan, or we introduce like uh, um, even new cards to existing clans that add balance changes. Uh, like Pyrogrow, this Pyrogrow, right? Like Pyrogrow in its original state was pretty bad, but it was pretty bad because there weren't great targets for it. If you could have better, more consistent targets for Pyrogrow, it's a great card. The problem is, is that the cards that you want come from other clans. There's not really cards within Awoken that you're like, yeah, I really wanted them to be zero cost. But if you compare that with like Hellhorned, getting Inferno for zero, or if you're in Stygian Guard, getting, um, you know, really any one of their three cost spells for zero would be fantastic. Ice Tornado or uh, Titan's Tooth, like getting those for zero was fantastic. So you were using Pyrogrow for other clans, not for your own clan. Um, I don't think we need Ember that much. I would prefer Focus Growth here. We need more ways to heal our tank, and the Focus Growth also has the benefit of... Um, yeah, adding more cards, getting more card draw. Uh, and that's, uh, this is, you know, something we've been talking about is, um, you know, I do a lot of speedrunning, and with speedrunning, when you add a new clan, now you have to, like, completely <laughs> rediscover, hey, maybe combining this new sixth clan with my other clans is faster. Or, um, you know, in general, having to uh, play out all these on Covenant 25, all the new combinations. I think it's it's the idea that the clans are shared, or meaning that, the, that you have to pick two clans, compared to other similar styles, makes each one um, adding an extra layer. I really like that. Um, will be really insane, and I also don't know how they'll make the logbook look, make any sense at all, by the time there's like seven clans. It's going to be... Seven, I mean, because they all exponentially add, right? <laughs> so, anyway, uh, all right. Let's uh, let's let's uh, get back into the run here. I think we still want unit upgrades. We have a lot of opportunity with unit upgrades. I don't think there's anything that we need to duplicate, particularly. Yes, the pyre health is like whatever, but uh, we really want yeah, multi strike is great. I don't think it's good on Legion of Wax. Another multi-strike on a draft is pretty good if we can get some uh, damage buffs. I almost wonder if just like adding health would be beneficial here. I would rather have a large stone, but given the choices. Um, quick on you is not really that great. I think then we just add damage and health. Make it just overall a little bit better. So now I think we forego unit upgrades, and now we focus on spell upgrades for the rest of the run. Spells and artifacts. Scourge is bad. Because the Scourge is... Kill your, your Pyre. Oh man. Oh man. We're in a little bit of trouble now. Um, what are we going to do here? We have to accept this guy making it through, because we can't kill the... We can't kill the Guardian in time, and I don't want him to be on the... Oh, man, this is this is just really bad. I think we do it like... So we have to play this. Do we tank with the Paraffin Thug? We can't. Or not tank with the Paraffin Thug, tank with the Rector Flicker. We really can't there. Um, this is This is a really bad start. Let's play like this. We'll be able to hopefully put a unit up front to break through the statue and kill him. Uh, because we absolutely have to... These guys have to die. Like, there's no question. These guys have to die now. Um, okay, we get Legion of Wax. Oh my gosh. We are in a lot of trouble. I think we already lost... I can't think of how we win this. Healing him only adds... Um, because that's going to be 3, 5. 
and the, the, we're, we're not going to get memories of the melted. And then these guys are going to go hit our pyre. Uh, if we'd had the draft, he would have at least killed this unit. Uh, how do we do this? We'll play it out, but I'm thinking that it's a loss. Because that is an entire hand full of death. Um, one, two... This saves us a future turn worth. I think we have to do it. The only thing that's saving us is the fact that we have Pyre Armor. So these two... So these are going to get rid of the damage shield. These... Honestly, we have to kill this guy. He's doing 7 damage. So this does... This gets rid of... If I get rid of one of these... Damage shield, 1 hit. Maybe that's better? This takes... I mean, these guys don't do any damage, but the problem is, is that the others... Are just yeah, it's re it's just a really bad situation. All right, um, there's the two damage shield. There's one armor. That's gonna be two armor. Uh, that's just awful. And it's not getting any better anytime soon. Because we can't still kill these backliners. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this one more time, just to see if it's possible. But uh, I know that I lost it, so I'm not going to submit this run. Um, where's the? There it is. I'm not gonna submit it. I'm gonna intentionally play it out like we did before. But I want to see if I can actually get through fell. And then, uh, and then we'll we, we'll accept that we died on this run. I just want to see if we can somehow manage to play it in a way that gets us the win. I think if we play it, if we accept this, can they get through right now? Rector Flicker does fifteen. If we bump him up to twenty-three, he does forty-six. He kills one, two, three. I think this gets through all of them. Is that enough by itself? It is. And then we enhance the... I think we enhance the Paraffin Thug. Okay. Then we put out the Legion of Wax. We put out the Thorn Hollow. Mm -hmm. Ultimate Penance. We clear out the backliner. So that's all we needed to do. We should have just tanked with our champion. He has so much health from all of these um, death triggers. And there's no way Fel's going to get through this. Uh, that, that's a problem, but one, two, we're at the seven limit, so putting this here means that it's much more likely. Uh, he's going to actually drop down because the guy dies. Um, in that case, using this heal on the Awoken Hollow is going to be the best for us. So that we draw. Mm -hmm. And... Are you enough to get through if we do drag? Let's see if we do draft. 30 is enough. Doing 34 damage. Then we do an extra 9. If we steal enhance you. 
gets it to 46. And then we play this out. That's our second damage shield gone. Uh, it's not, not quite enough damage. So that's going to be another 7 damage. That's not terrible, though. And you have, like, lots of health to, to get back. Uh, I think we play... You and this... And that gets us real close, but I think we just hold it out. We can use memento, me memories of the, yeah. And then we can descend you so that you die. And we can regen. And our champion has so much health that we wreck fell. Okay, so we would have done it. We would have done it. But let's go back. Let's play it how we did it. Because uh, we want to be fair. If everyone else is not... I'm assuming no one else is restarting. So I'm not going to uh, allow a restart. We'll get back into it. And we'll play it. And we will lose about the same place that we did before. So let's continue. And uh, play it out like we did before. As sad as it makes me. <laughs> so we played out... Rector Flicker. Oh wait, no. We played them on the top floor. Let me do that one more time. This was a, actually a surprisingly fun challenge. Gravity is really interesting as a as a mutator mechanic. I really like it. And having the uh, top floor days really makes gravity like extra interesting because you can't just play stuff on the top floor when you want. So I played out the ultimate penance. We played out Rector Flicker and Paraffin Thug. They dropped down. We then played Legion of Wax on the bottom. And then we also got rid of the uh, Weight of Contrition. And we were very sad. And then we had these guys. And I thought a long time about it. Decided that we want to Petty Theft here. We put out the Greg. And then we played out two of these, got rid of our damage shield, he went to the top, did one damage to our pyre. We had a whole lot of these, I got real sad. Uh, we just got rid of a lot of these, and we can just play out the drag to die. We can put him here. Then up top, we just get all the weight of contritions. And we just have a bad time. This is where we were. Um, is there any way to change the outcome here? Uh, playing you out does mean that you die. We can drip fall this guy so that he's dazed. Um. We can play out two of these. That does 5, 8, 11. That is enough to kill us. Boom. And that's where we die. So it would have been possible if I had not been greedy with my train steward. Or not with the train steward. With the uh, Rector Flicker. If I had just accepted that Rector Flicker can be our tank. We would have been absolutely fine. So big mistake. But uh, overall, really good, really good run there. Let's see, um, let's see how Bane did. So he did take the first challenge and got a perfect first run. He took the second challenge and, I mean, also managed to, he can't, you can't take pyre damage. Oh, so he got Big Sludge from that side. Big Sludge is really good. Like, that's not a bad strategy here. Interesting. And then he made it through Daedalus. Got through here, and then he died to the Hidden Assault. Yeah, that's hard. That was a hard I mean, you saw, we only passed the Hidden Assault literally because we drew Memento Mori.
Otherwise, we were dead. Um, we'll come check this out later after some of the others have uh, tried it out. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more of this kind of content, hit that like button, subscribe, comment below, check out the other videos, and I'll see you in the next one.